coming to you live from Hot Patterns, where we have another beautiful, new, and very, very gorgeous pattern to show you. Um, I thought I really wanted to wait for a few days after we released the pattern to show you some samples, because I knew there'd be some questions about it, and I was right. So now we get to answer those questions, as well as give you the kind of background for all of these. So this is our very beautiful Riviera Jellyfish T-shirt blouse. I know, it's a great name. Uh, we call it jellyfish because you is lovely, kind of undulating ruffles everywhere. So they're not like frilly and flouncy, they're quite kind of, you know, low key, but I do love them. And I wanted to give you a little bit of the backstory to this, which should explain to you why it is the way it is. Um, I have been working on this, we've been working on this for a long time, for about six months, and you'd be like, why? It's such a simple thing, it is. But we do things over a period of time. Um, and this one's been worked backwards and forwards and what have you, and we finally got it to where we're like, yeah, that's the one. And this is where we started. We started with this one, lovely colour, um, and it's got that lovely wrap over the back, which is really a very key feature. But the issue with this was, this was the, um, let's say, a very direct uh, interpretation of a piece I saw in anthropology. The problem with it was the fit was terrible, and the fit was terrible because it had no fitting over the bust, had no fitting over, anywhere, as often t-shirts don't. So we went back to the drawing board on this, and we came up with our current one, which is rather lovely. Um, on this one, we have princess seams. These are kind of key. I know it seems silly when you've got like a t-shirt shape to put princess seams on it, but it fits beautifully over the bust, and it, it's going to sit on you so much better than without. So we have our um, t-shirt blouse, and we, say, we call it a t-shirt blouse because you can make it in t-shirting as a t-shirt. You can make it in blouse fabric as a blouse. It all works, there's no problem. And you've got a couple of different, we actually got three different sleeve options. Um, you can do a little roughly cap sleeve, which is what the original's like. You can do the print, the um, three quarter length sleeve here. And if you want to, you can add the roughly cap to the top of the three quarter sleeve if you wish. And um, I thought I wanted to show you two of them done exactly the same, straight out the envelope, no changes at all, in different fabrics. And this is them, this one and this one, this one that I'm wearing. Now you can see, this is a rayon gauze, so it's a little bit crinkly and it's quite floppy. And you can see it hangs in a completely different way to this one, which is a rayon nylon organza, don't ask me, but it's quite stiff and it sits away from the body. So you can see this is kind of quite loose and quite peasanty topish, which is great. This one's more crisp and sits away from the body. But the thing you have to really look at is, ooh, pretty. That's the back detail. Back detail's key for this one. We don't often get nice back details on t-shirting because we're used to putting, you know, a cardigan or something on top. But this is the kind of thing you can wear as a dressing up top, as a going out in the evening top, and you've got this lovely back detail that will show it off. And when it comes to your ruffle, you have a number of choices on how to finish it. You can do a narrow hem, like we've done here. You can obviously bind it, as we've done here. You can just overlock the edges, which I did on this, which I must tell you, uh, gauze is a bit of a bear to work with. But anyway, uh, you can just roughly overlock it. And if you do it in a knit, you can leave the edges raw because they don't fray. Just make sure you cut them very, very nicely. So you have lots of different options with this. And now I think we need to tell them about fabrics, don't we, Jeremy? We do, okay. Because this is a t-shirt blouse, you've got a huge range of fabrics that you can go for. On the t-shirt inside, I want to say you, you want to go for anything lighter than a cotton interlock jersey. That would be a bit heavy. So uh, rayon, uh, silk jerseys, bamboo, all that stuff, the kind of burnouts, the devores, all those would be really good. Um, especially tie-dye and things. Um, and bear in mind that the, side, the back edge of the ruffle will show, so understand that when you're doing it. So floppy, floppy, drapey knits on this. With the blouse version, I have said on the envelope front to go for drapey ones, but you can see this is not drapey and it still works. Lightweight though, you don't want heavy things like, <laughs> you wouldn't wear this in the corduroy, that would be wrong. You could probably, the heaviest you can get away with the, um, with the blouse, I'm going to say it's like a soft chambray that you've really washed, which would look fantastic. So you've got lots, lots of different fabric choices. You don't need any buttons, any zippers. The only thing you want if you want a three-quarter sleeve is the elastic. That is it. It's the easiest thing ever. Jeremy, I know you have questions for me. No? You don't? Oh, there was a question. There was a question, a very good question. One of our ladies in our sewing group actually had a very good question. She said, I really like the ruffles, but I feel they're going to be too much for me, they're going to be too wide. And I said to her, well, here's what you can do. 
I said, you can do it all without the ruffles. So you have no ruffle, you have no ruffle here, and you have no ruffle cap. But there's a halfway house, which is you don't do the ruffle, you just keep it as a cat sleeve, like this. And you put the ruffle on the hem because most of the ruffle's on the back. If you want to do this, then just use the um, neck binding fabric piece. And that's it, it's the easiest thing ever. So you can wear it with um, slim things on the bottom. Slim things like this, this is the weekend uh, boyfriend jean. You can wear them with uh, a slim skirt, like the pull-on skirt, or sorry, the two hour skirt. Um, you can wear them certainly with crop or, or with full. I think you just want slim. Somebody did ask about the Marrakesh pan touch. You know what? I actually tried this on with the Marrakesh pan, my linen ones, they look great. So it's a more voluminous look, a bit more groovy, very good for hot summer days, I have to say. So yeah, that's it. That's our brand new and very gorgeous Riviera just jellyfish. Just run me through good. make time on it. Oh, that's a good one. All right, well, it's a very good question because you know what? Depending on the fabric, I mean, this fabric caused me, uh, I've got to tell you, grey hairs because it just misbehaved. These two, easy peasy. I would say a couple of hours sewing time. Oh, and the, the thing to bear in mind about your construction, you'll see this in the instructions, it's kind of backwards. Normally we do shoulder seams, do the neckline, put the sleeves in, side seams. <clears throat> Other way around here. It's um, side, uh, put the front together, side seams first, do the hem, and then join the shoulders and then the neckline and sleeves. So it's a little bit backwards, but honestly, I promise you, it's super, super easy. Just turn that one around I'm here. Turn I'm going to show back detail. I'll show you the back detail and I'll show you on this one as well because you'll see the difference, the different, what difference fabric makes. So this is a lot floppier and a lot easier to wear and that's more kind of dressy blousy. But I use the binding on there so you can really see the ruffle and I think it's really pretty. Really, really pretty and really a nice feature. Awesome. So yes, thank you very much for watching and now you need to go and make one of our beautiful jellyfish t-shirt blouses.